Okay, let's learn some of the magic of lenses. Um, uh, let me turn this off for a second here at the Geiger counter. Um, one thing I didn't explain in the prior video is that uh, this, this lens is just smoking hot radioactive. Um, is that uh, these are not just alpha emitters. And it is not a thorium coating. People were saying, well, I got, uh, you know, a thorium coating. It's not a coating. The lenses are doped. It means it's actually in the glass. It's not a coating on the glass. It's actually in the glass. It means it's doped. <clears throat> Uh, people don't usually uh, identify that word with uh, how we speak today, but it's referring to the mixture in the glass. Um, by the way, this browning is due to the radiation, that yellowish brown look you see in this lens. You can actually clear that up. It won't clear up the radiation or how uh, radioactive this lens is. You can actually clear that up uh, due to UV exposure. You can expose this lens to sunlight for like 20 days and clear up most of it. Um, when I said months ago that lenses are actually getting worse, see, they should still make lenses like this. And not this gigantic beast, but radioactive lenses using uh, a thorium. The reason for that is not just uh, the refractive index. That's not the case. It is to actually lower the dispersion. I mean, you can make a high refractive index glass easy enough. So it's not refractive index that the reason that these are thorium dope is to lower the dispersion. You know, an example of dispersion is a rainbow through a prism or through uh, water droplets dispersion. And it's, uh, the lowering of the dispersion is one of the really key optical properties of, uh, of a high-end glass. And that's the reason those old Hasselblad and Leica lenses that have this brown... It's like, people say, why do those old lenses have that brownish, yellowish color? It's because that's radiation. That's, uh, and by the way, these are not just alpha emitters. These are emitting beta radiation. See, a sheet of paper can stop alpha radiation, which is just helium nuclei. Um, I don't want to get this lens too close to my face, but this is a strong beta emitter. See, this table is about three quarters of an inch thick. So let's take a look. You know, <clears throat> this will block out the alpha radiation. So let's take a look at what's really going on here, okay? Really hot, right? Now, hmm, since alpha radiation can be blocked with a sheet of paper, let's put this lens underneath the table and take a look at how much beta radiation it is emitting. Okay, here we go. See, that's not alpha radiation that's being detected, that is beta. Beta! So the thorium is a strong beta emitter. As is any thorium, actually. But Now we're going to measure alpha and beta get together. See, i got to reset the Geiger counter, it just pegs the needle. What screams, doesn't it? These are uh, uranite balls. This uh, has uh, uranium. These are actually kids' marbles here. Not too strong. Still enough. Um, now, let's turn that off a second. Let's get to the nitty gritty here. Um, you see, you think a lens is purely an optical device, okay? Back when, uh, I forget the guy that actually introduced the, uh, the uh, thorium into these lenses, but uh, even they had no idea what it actually did. They just knew the introduction of a doping glass with thorium would improve the, uh, the optical properties of lowering the dispersion on uh, being able to have high refractive index lenses. That solves a lot of problems, but they actually have no idea what it does. It's the same reason today that we don't know exactly how nitrous oxide changes, uh, you know, the combustion rate inside of a car engine. We know that nitrous boosts a car engine, but the exact process is still unknown, and it's the same stuff with this. Um, see, what people don't understand is that, yes, lenses have gotten, I mean, you're not going to stick 
heavily radioactive uh, thorium inside the lenses these days because of all these BS EPA regulations and crap like that. But uh, these actually made superior lenses. Uh, now we've got better coatings these days. And some things have certainly improved. Autofocus has improved, vibration reduction, but lenses themselves in uh, several ways have gotten worse. And uh, lenses should still have this in them because the lanthanum dioxide, the niobium, and uh, all these other uh, elements that are added to ED glass. ED glass is a replacement for radioactive glass like this. It's almost as good, but no, not quite. And uh, this is the reason I said months ago that lenses have gotten worse. Some people scoffed at that, but the people that scoffed at me saying that are full of crap. I know better, and they don't. Um, they don't know anything about lenses. Lens is not an electrical, uh, not an optical uh, device. Well, sure it is. Everybody knows a lens is not. No, I mean, a lens is a circuit for allowing the correct passage of light and the best rendering of the light to be uh, hitting the sensor. Every lens, everything in the universe is electrical anyway, but a lens is an electrical device because everything in the universe is capacitance, resistance, permeability, and uh, permittivity. Magnetic permeability, dielectric permittivity. Uh, light is a coaxial electrical circuit. Light is an electrical circuit, just like a cell phone signal is a circuit. Just like uh, everything is a circuit of electricity, like your nervous system, all the rest of it. You know, if you think that light is different than uh, radio, then uh, you're delusional because it's all the same stuff. There's absolutely no difference between radio and visible light except that one's visible and the other one ain't. One is for your eyeballs and the other one is for your radio. They're both the same thing. There's no difference between light and radio. No difference at all. There's longitudinal uh, rarefactions and compressions along uh, the longitudinal course of uh, the emission and they're transverse electrical magnet just like pistons in a car you got a crankshaft which is the longitudinal uh, circuit of the coaxial nature of light and then you have pistons transversing along that crankshaft and that's exactly how light works that's exactly what light light is not particles anybody that tells you that light is a particle is full of crap they're just sucking off the uh, cancer stick of quantum mechanics Light is not particle based. That is BS. It is total crap, a baloney. It is bullshit of the highest magnitude. Light is not a particle. It's an electrical coaxial circuit. And lenses are not merely electrical devices. Anybody that's on the upper echelon of Zeiss and Nikon and stuff like that, what the hell do you think that they stuck these additives in the glass? If a lens was purely an electrical, I mean an optical device, then all we would need is good coatings and, uh, you know, great refractive indices and that would make up a good lens. But it doesn't work that way. Because all of these, uh, these glass elements, you know, lenses are not just glass. They have these uh, doped additives, except they've replaced the radioactive stuff with non-radioactive stuff to try to achieve the same thing, which it kind of does, but not to the same degree that this uh, radioactive crap does. And to uh, basically, it, it, the simplest way to think about it without getting too technical is like greasing up the glass so that light will just slide through it. Uh, it's like a slip and slide, you know, if the light gets bruised too much going down the slip and slide through the lens and you got issues, you got bad rendering. And these uh, glass elements are doped with radioactive and various other things, just like greasing up a slip and slide or making it wet so just the light will go right through the lens. That's what lenses are designed for. They're not designed strictly for bending light, but actually rendering it the best after it's projected out of the rear element. So, you know, if lenses are merely optical devices, then this sucker, even back in the, you know, the 30s, 40s, and 50s, wouldn't be so hot as to blow you away with radioactivity. Why do you think, why do you think, why do you think this is even in this, in this lens? Why? I mean, ask any of these idiots that think they know anything about lenses and say, well, why, why do they put radiation, radioactive thorium back in the, oh, I don't know. Why do they think that they crap ED element glass? The glass, it, it's not just glass. There are electrical properties of compounds that are added to this glass to change the nature of how it processes light. Because every lens is an electrical circuit. 
No, they just stuck a bunch of radioactive crap in these lenses for the hell of it. They're like, hey, Bob, this would be neat. Let's create a lens that's like really radioactive. Let's put some freaky shit in there. No, it doesn't work that way. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll uh, catch you later. Okay. Let's turn the Geiger counter off, right? Bye.